Okay, let's look up for the lookup values. The lookup has usually been widely used, so let's stick around with that. Now I have two sets of data over here. One is on this side, that is orange and green um, right? Now I want to get this V value over here. I can do a copy paste for the heading, but not for the matter inside, because as you can see, the ID which has been set, the unique ID, is not in the same order as what it's on this side. So the best way to get it across is either keep matching one by one and get hold of it only that, or you can use a simple formula called as V lookup. Uh, I'm sure you will be remembering this, but be collecting this, but let's see um, how it works. What are we looking for is the V lookup value over here, which is nothing but uh, A, six the value is what we are looking in the range on this side that is at b5 so our value is at b5 is what's over here so that's the value that we are looking for when are we looking for this value we are looking for this value in this please select the entire thing uh, both even if you have 10 different rows you will you may need to do the same thing so i'll, I'll show you that later on but like say we have selected only this much because that's what is matching on this side so again this would come under dollar because this range should not move if the range moves the values fail so here we have for the dollar for table array and which column is it that we want in this two columns that we have selected? We want the second column. Please note we have selected two columns and that's the reason why we want the second column. So I'll write two over here. And this is basically for exact match or approximate match, even if it matches slightly. Uh, is it, you know, having the similar words in that particular cells and stuff like that, if it goes into that. So instead of all that, we'll just take it as zero and say, yes, I want it to have an exact match, match to this. So I'll just keep it as zero, and that's all about it. So if you see, A6 is watermelon over here, as you can see. A9 is supporter over here. So if I just track this thing down, you'll see A9 is coming as supporter. A12 is coming as Khajur. A15 is coming as beat line, which is true. A17 is pineapple. Yep. Likewise, it will just keep going on. Please remember to give the bracket, uh, sorry, dollar signs over here. Now, if I change the scenario in this, if I kind of increase the cells over here, right? So we have added two more cells in that particular. Uh, in between both of these IDs and the values that we want. If I turned out that it is coming at zero. Why? Because the range has increased because we added in two more columns. But the number that we had given matching row or sorry, matching column two is no longer because it's a blank value and that's why it is giving it as zero over here. And if you wanted to have it be J or the value B, then you have to give us one, two, three, four. If I give it four, the value comes back. So it depends on which value do you want. You need to calculate that and add up hardly a one minute, 30 seconds fast forward. And once you're done with that, you will get the values that you want. So this is how you do your, we look up formula for you. That's all.